Okay, I am going to show you how to rent a movie on Amazon Prime. Now, I have had Amazon Prime for a really long time, and I just started, yes, in 2022, renting movies for my kids. So, basically, whatever you have, whatever system you have, download the Prime Video app. Okay, as you can see, I have Roku. You don't need to have Roku. Just download Amazon Prime Video. So you're going to go ahead and select Prime Video. Now you'll have to make sure that you log in with your account. I already did that. A lot of times you have to either go to your computer or phone, put in a code just to make sure that you can log in. So then after you do that, you log in, select the app. Now my daughter wants to watch the My Little Pony new movie and... <laughs> And here already excited so what you do over here you see the little um find button so click find and then you just type in whatever movie you want to watch oh look i'm already spelling it wrong a m m yeah that's not how you spell it's not how you spell my little pony but the reason I'm making this video is because I don't think everybody knows how to do this. I have had Prime for so long, and I just never even took advantage of this. I knew it was available, but I don't know. I was the one still literally going to rent DVDs or doing like a red box. And when you have little kids, especially a four-year-old, it is so much easier to do this. Okay, so as you can see, I am typing in My Little Pony space. Now, if you're looking for a movie and it is not available on Prime, it may be available on something else. Like, I realize not all movies are available on all things. Like, I tried to rent this on YouTube. Usually, that's like the first thing I do, YouTube, because we like YouTube the best and we're pretty much on that all the time. Um, but... My Little Pony, the newest movie, wasn't available on YouTube. So that's why we are going to Amazon Prime. Okay, so I clicked on My Little Pony, the one that she wants. You can see there's movie here, but that's not the newest one. This, so oh, where did it go? Where's the newest one? Oh, there it is. There it is down there. I could tell because it's the more 3D ones. Yep, this is the one that she wants. So you find the one that you want. Okay, there it is. And now right here, you have options on Amazon Prime. You have rent or buy. Now, I don't think everybody knows about renting. So if you rent it, okay, you have 30 days to start watching the video and two days to finish it once you have started. You can watch it as many times as you want within that two days. At least that's what we did when we rented Trolls quite a while back. Um, as you can see, it's only $3.99, much cheaper. But if you know your kids are going to watch the movie over and over and over again, which I'm sure she is, might as well just buy it. It's only, what is that, $10, 11 more dollars. And then you can buy it for $14.99 or more purchase options. Let's see, rent movie, buy movie. Oh, look, the only other purchase options is buy movie in HD or buy movie in SD. So we are going to buy it in HD, even though we don't have an HD TV. So I guess it really doesn't matter. So we are going to buy it. Purchase successful, My Little Pony. Now what credit card did it charge? I don't know. No, I kind of know. The credit card that it charges is the one that you have on Amazon for purchases. Now, if you're like me and you, you use Amazon a lot, you probably have several different payment methods, just they're automatically saved. So make sure you know which one that you actually have selected for purchases like movies like this. Because as you can see, I didn't even have to type anything in because I'm already logged into my Amazon account and purchase was immediately successful. So also be careful if you have little kids because look how easy it is to uh, purchase that. Yeah, I don't even know if there's a, a parental filter or not. Start playing it. Yes, we will start playing it, but that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Share the video.